On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the three mindset hacks that you need in your life right now as a performer. So let's get straight in and let's get started. Welcome to the Performer Podcast. Stay tuned for practical tips, strategies, and interviews that will help you get one step closer to that performing career dream of yours. Hosted by me, Michelle Thole, success and performance coach for performers, a proud Hufflepuff, umbopper, and a theme park lover. So here we go, on with the show. Why, hello and welcome. I wonder how your week's been. Have you had a good week? Mine's been super, super busy. Super busy, but in a great way. <laughs> Let's get on. I want to talk to you today about the three mindset hacks that I believe that you need right now in your life to be the best performer possible. I'm going to start off with the first one, and it's confidence. Now, a lot of people believe that confidence is like a gold coin that you would collect on like a Super Mario game or something. And as long as you're going along in life and all of a sudden, oh, there's, there's some confidence. I'm going to grab that. Uh, I'm going to grab another bit of confidence. Yes, that's amazing. However, unfortunately, confidence doesn't work like that. Confidence only um, gets created, only increases by doing things and doing things either very well. So then you gain the extra confidence, positive confidence, shall we say, or doing things badly, which then gives negative confidence. But at least you've done something and then from that experience, you can change it. Now, the mindset hack here is to always keep moving forward and doing something different. Or if you've done something that's working continuously, keep doing it. So it's about trial and error and about flexibility. And this is where the mindset comes in. Because if you have a mindset that's very rigid, that is stuck in um, believing that this is the way it should be. This is the way that I think I would like it to be. In a, but instead of looking at your life in the way that it actually is and from the place that you stand and where you can move forward from that place, that's the um, that's going to be the golden elixir in your life. That's going to be the, br- the, the brightest star in the sky is, to, is the flexibility. So the mindset hack with confidence is the flexibility. And if you've watched any of my Facebook lives before, or you've seen anything of me before, you will know that I have a formula for confidence, which is courage plus action equals confidence. And like I say, with the confidence, it could be that positive or negative confidence, depending on what the outcome is from the courage plus the action. So I know that I'm talking really quickly here, but I hope you understand that Um, You have to step forward with faith in your heart, with trust and courage to take the action that is required in order to gain the outcome. When you gain the outcome, if it's a positive outcome, you're going to get more confident. If it's a negative outcome, you've had some maybe some negative feedback, you use that as a learning experience to then gain confidence in your next action. Because sometimes people may think about... um, this feeling of failure, but the feeling of failure is actually a good thing. And I mean this in the, in the nicest way, because when you fail at something, it means you've tried, it means you've put that courage plus action into, um, into practice. And it's only a matter of time that it will then result into that positive confidence. So keep going, don't be disheartened. And you know what? This is a great segue into the second mindset hack for you as a performer, and that is resilience. Now, what is resilience? Resilience is how quickly it takes for you to stand back up once you've been punched in the face a few times by life. You know, once you've had a few rejections. Let me tell you something. If you're not wired for resilience, if you're not wired for failure in this performing business, in this career of yours, you will lose. You will lose because it's too hard. You will fail nine times out of 10. And I know that's not a scientific fact, but from my point of view, you will fail nine times out of 10 before you get one thing right. Are you wired for that? Are you ready for that? Have you prepared your mindset for that? So resilience is just how quickly you bounce back. So let's think how ways in which to bounce back. The first thing isn't to numb your feelings or your emotions. And what I mean by that is it isn't to go and have a massive bender, you know, go get drunk and 
maybe have some um, <laughs> regretful sex or whatever it is that you want to do with numbing that pain. It literally is about figuring out, analyzing. And this is where the resilience part comes in. And here's your mindset hack. Your mindset hack is to analyze the crap out of what happened. What happened? Why did you fail? What was uh, was the person who gave you this critical feedback? Criticism? Criticism is probably the word I want to use. This criticism, was this a val valuable source for you to accept? Is this person someone you respect? Is this someone who just doesn't hold any weight in your life? And maybe you shouldn't have taken it so much on your shoulders. Have all these questions in mind. Start analysing what is it? What is it that made me fail this time? And how can then I move forward? So I know it's difficult because when you are in that, oh my gosh, especially if you've had like three knockbacks in a day or even 10, it's difficult because all you want to do is literally put the duvet over your head and listen to, I don't know, some episodes of Stranger Things or something just to like eliminate yourself from the issue, from the problem, from the life that you want, but it isn't in your grasp yet. Don't worry, it literally is part and parcel of this performing career that you have chosen. There's nothing wrong with you. Even the greatest people in the industry, even people who have Oscars on their toilet shelves right now have felt that way, have felt exactly the way you feel. So I know that doesn't offer any comfort when you're going through it, but just know it's the name of the game. So buckle up for the ride because this is it. Your career is so predicated on other people's opinions of you. And so you have to be so, I want to say, just true to who you are and know that what you're doing is the right thing. Know what you're doing is the right thing because it is right for you. It just might not have been the right time or the right role or the right song or the right joke in that moment. And that's it. A lot of people who find it difficult to bounce back from resilience is because they've attached their self-worthiness and self-esteem to the idea of their own success. And in getting this analysis um, part correct, in analysing why and how and what can I do differently, that frees you from the expectation of my success equals my self-worth. Because in actual fact, it doesn't. You do not need to prove your worthiness to anybody. The fact that you're alive right now and breathing, that worthiness has already been paid for. So take a deep breath in and out and just know that you deserve to be wherever you want to be in life. And it's just about bouncing back quicker. That's all. All right, and so now we head into a uh, mind hack number three, and it's motivation. Now, I know a lot of you out there may think, well, do you know what? I'll just slap myself in a few <laughs> in the face a few times. I'll just run up and down the street and kind of get into this motivational mindset thing. But motivation is something you do religiously every day. It's the words that you talk to yourself in your head about. It's the way in which you show up in the world. It's how nice you are to other people. All these interactions, all the words that you speak, all the words that you um offer to others has an effect on the motivation that you feel when you wake up in the morning. For instance, if you're telling yourself, I'll just use acting as an example, this acting world, this acting malarkey, this acting uh, career is hard. It's really hard, isn't it? Like, it's not just me, like, because I feel like other people are thinking it's hard, but it is hard. If you're telling yourself it's hard, then your brain has no other way than to show you that it's hard because your brain is your best friend. It doesn't want you to um, be wrong. And so it will look at everything in your life that is super, super hard. So if you're the quote unquote struggling actor right now, it's probably because you believe it. I am struggling. But in actual fact, everyone is, is a difficult career to have. 
but there is all there are also beautiful moments there there's also um, a sense of purpose there's also an elation that comes with um performing there's also a being of service to the world and allowing people to feel other things they may not necessarily feel had they not seen your play or your movie or you know your musical theatre production so the motivation, um, here's the mindset hack, is to be consistent, is to wake up every day and be responsible for how you speak to yourself. That negative self-talk will literally have you in circles and it will eat away at your motivation. Because every single day, if you wake up and say that you're struggling, if you wake up and you think this is hard, are you gonna have the motivation to get up and wanna do it? Who wants to do anything hard in their lives? Nobody. So make it easy. Speak to yourself in an easy way. I really enjoy being on set. I really enjoy the process of auditioning. I really enjoy showing um, the casting um, panel what I have to give. I love the feeling of being on the edge and having that kind of like fear feeling, but also knowing that I trust myself enough to step forward and to really show them all that I have. Now, isn't that a very different way to speak to yourself in your mind? Isn't that a very different way of being in the world? That is your mindset hack. Do not accept anything less than positive self-talk. It's, I love the Buddhist way of thinking about this. It's like, um, what do they say? It's like, a drinking poison and expecting somebody else to die or like holding a hot coal um and then trying to chuck it at someone else it's like what you know don't 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 um inflict extra pain on yourself if you feel life is hard why make it even harder for yourself so the the mindset hack here is positive self talk and consistency every day for instance looking after yourself the massive, massive um, bonus to this three mindset hacks, the underlying um, umbrella to these three is self-care. It's going for a run, making sure you're eating right, making sure you have the energy to have not only a part-time job to keep you afloat, but also the energy to when you come home from that part-time job that you can still keep going in the direction of your dreams. This is your responsibility. This is the path. The path isn't to be happy, jolly, go lucky person every single day. I'm loving life. This is what it's all about. Your job is to show up consistently, to be authentic, to be true to who you are and to be kind to yourself at all times, regardless of how hard it is or whether there is a route that you feel like, oh my gosh, should I do this? Should I not do this? Be kind to yourself. Be kind. So there we are. There's your three mindset hacks. We've got one for confidence. We've got one for resilience and we've got one for motivation. Let me know what you think about these mindset hacks in the comments below. Are these useful to you? Do you have any of your own that you'd like to share? And as ever, subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to know more about me, head on over to michelletholay.com, michelletholay.com, where you'll find lots of information for you as a performer. And also, if you'd like to know how to work with me, that's also there for you. You can head over to my Facebook page, which is Michelle Thol Life Coach, where every Sunday at 7pm, I do a Facebook Live um, called The Sunday Show for Performers. So catch me over there and say hi. And also, um, please tell a friend. If you like this, share it, spread the word, because the more people know about this, the more we can help others. So that's it. Get out there, do your thing. You are always stronger than fear. And I'll catch you next time on another episode of The Performer Podcast. Bye. Thank you.